Wow. You probably know why I'm doing this. Another tutorial. But, this time, it's for trails. If you want to know how to do this. I know the animation's poor, but it's the default animation, so it's not going to be fitting <laughs> for the sword. This is what I use for gallantry. When you swing, it's like... But, since I didn't have the animation loaded in here, it looks like this. I'm going to show you how to make your own sword that does this. Probably not the animation though. I'm just going to show you how to do the trail part. Now I have this thing right here. It's a test sword. May, may not be a sword from Gauchi. But this is one of the swords that I put a trail on. You're going to need attachments. And if you don't know what attachments you're in luck because I will teach you all about them right now. So you got a part. You can insert an attachment right here. Select that attachment. You can do whatever the heck you want with it. But you need two of them. So you got two attachments. Put them wherever you want. But this is going to matter whenever I show you how to do this. You can insert a trail. And then you have to select the attachments you just put in with this. Make sure you select them separately. And now, whenever you move the part, you're going to see some magic. There you go, that's a trail. But you can do way more with this. You can set how long it stays there, so if you want it to be a sword kind of particle, you want it to stay there for a very short amount of time. 0 0.1 usually works. Now, I usually have the transparency at 0 0.5. Flat mission 1. So it looks like that. But you don't want it to look so grainy. You want it to look like this, how this had the trail. It's more smooth. To do that, you're going to have to find a decal. You know how fun that is. Go to decals, search gradients. I use this. I usually just hover over this to see what ones actually work. Because if it, if it doesn't have any... See how this one over here, when I select this, it has the QB things. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> but... These, every part, every part of the decal, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Every part of the decal that has the squares on it, that means that part won't show up. Like if you put the decal on the brick, the squares aren't there. Now, if they aren't there when you have the squares turned on, then that means it's going to show up like that. You don't want that. You want something more like this. Where it's like this. Not all of them will fit into what you want. You need to copy and paste the texture from the decal into the trail. See, this one's backwards. So you need to find a decal that will fit what you want. Gonna need to find one that's white, but it goes from top to bottom. Give me a minute to look. There it is. So you need to copy and paste the texture onto this. You can delete the decal afterward. But now you have the trail that you were wanting. It's fun to mess around with. But you can, if you only want the trail to show when you swing your weapon, I'll show you a script for that. Right now, you have 
your two attachments and the trail set up. So maybe you want a sword to put that on. So let's just grab a random sword. Right here. <coughs> Free model sword. You know, I don't like those, but just for the video. Now, I'm going to put those attachments and the trail inside the handle. This one already has a trail, huh? Well, I guess I can't use that one. Oh, that was the wrong sword. Never mind. Put this inside of the handle. Now you have all those set. But you want one green ball to be at the bottom of the sword and one green ball to be at the top. Takes a little bit of positioning. Bottom of the blade, I should say. Now you have that set up. And that means it will constantly have a trail when you swing your sword. <coughs> if I were to put this into my starter pack, playtest it. I got a trail. There's the trail for that. But you probably don't want it on all the time. You're probably only going to want it on whenever you swing the sword. So, if you're too lazy to type this in, then I'll put it in the description. You just need a script inside the sword and put this in the script. I wrote it myself. It's not very complicated. That's kind of complicated though. That's just for the animation. I'll put both of them in the description. The animation has to be a local script though. So once you have all of those in there and you have the script in there, the last thing you're going to need to do is make sure you go inside the trail and check enabled off so it's not enabled. And you will have sword that does that was a random sound does what you wanted it to now it only it only shows the trail when you swing it you can change the animation there's tutorials for that but this is R15 so probably gonna look a little weird There you go, we're back where we were. That's how you make a sword with a working trail. Look in the description if you're t still too lazy to type that in. I'm not going to really call you lazy because I would probably do the same thing. Well, that, that's it.